Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I've got the next game in the Phillies season for you. Uh, these are the current standings right now in the 2020 Imagined League, which I am replaying the Phillies, or I'm actually playing the Phillies season for 2020, the regular real season, if it had been played, according to, Stat to Stratomatic's Imagined Statistics and Cards. As you can see right now, we are 2-4, and four, and we are in fourth place in the East, right here, two and four. And the Mets are four and one. That's the team we're playing. We are playing the Mets in the third game of a three game series. Uh, there's a look at the NL West. Um, the Padres are six and one. San Francisco is five and one, both doing very well. The Dodgers are at three and three. And then down at the bottom, you got Arizona at one and six. And then here's the rest of the league. You've got the Pittsburgh Pirates at 1-5. Washington hasn't won yet. They're 0-6. And, and um, the Dodgers are, uh, or the uh, LA Angels are 2-4 and four over in the AL West. Houston is 3-4, and four, a surprising 3-4. and four. Seattle's 3-4. and four. Oakland is 4-3. and three, And Texas is 4-2. and two. Now, Oakland, remember, and you can see over here, this was their actual um, uh, records. Oakland actually won the West that year. The White Sox are five and one, an amazing five and one for them. They really were thirty-five and twenty-five, though they were good. Tampa Bay is five and one, and in real life, in the sixty games, they were forty and twenty. So we'll take a look at some of the league leaders um, just really quickly. You can take a look here. Uh, batting average, Kana is leading. Let's look at the uh, national. Well, now we'll look at both leagues combined. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is both leagues combined. Kana is, um, hitting, is hitting 682. Wow. Bregman's hitting 600. Of course, we're only like seven or eight games into the season, uh, depending on the team and how many they played. Uh, Turner's hitting 500. So, anyway, there's the uh, batting averages. Uh, run scored. Chapman of Oakland has 10. Guriel has 10. Um... Home runs, you got Judge leading the way with six, Chapman of Oakland with six, um, and then Jerko, Milwaukee has five, Kepler with five. Runs batted in, you've got Oakland, uh, Chapman uh, leading with uh, 14, Judge with 13, Darnold of Atlanta with 11, Carpenter and Hernandez each with 10. And, uh, you know, you've got some walks and you've got some other stuff like this. Um, so let's go down to, because I mean, you know, and it really were only seven or eight games. I know some of you said you wanted to make sure you see the stats. This is only seven or eight games into the season, so it's really kind of meaningless right now anyway. But you got wins, you got losses, um, innings pitched so far. Uh, let's go to ERA, wherever ERA is. Earned run average, you've got Cole. Oh, wait a minute. No, earned that's earned runs. Where's ERA? Oh, there it is. Many tied with zero. So that's all they're going to say about that. So anyway, that's a quick look there. Uh, let's go to um, let's go to the National League. See if we've got any guys in the top in the National League. For batting average, we certainly don't because we're not hitting well. Um, run scored, not really. So uh, offensively, we're not going to have guys up there because we're not really doing all that well. Offensively. Let's go down here to earned run average. Um, now see here, because you you separated out the leagues. It'll show some guys. So we've got Howard at zero. Um, so anyway, that's that. Uh, we'll go back and take a quick look again at the league stats just to look at the standings. And again, reiterate that we are two and four. We really need this win to move up in the standings a little bit and at least tie Atlanta at three and four. 
So that is going to be it, and we're going to get... Now we are going to get into the game. Game 7 of the season, the third game of the series against the Mets. Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I am here with another game in the Philly season. This is going to be game 7. Currently, as you might know from my intro... The uh, Phillies are two and four coming into this game. This is the third game of the Mets, the third and final game of this Mets series. And the pitching matchup today will be a matchup of the Aces. It will be Aaron Nola going up for the Philadelphia Phillies, and Jacob deGrom will be pitching for the Mets. So we will go over the lineups uh, as the lineups come up. We're still on the road, so we're in City Field. Uh, the lineup for my Philadelphia Phillies will be Gene Segura at third base leading off. Didi Gregorius will bat second and be at shortstop. Bryce Harper is batting third. He'll be the right fielder. Rice Reese Hopkins Hoskins will be the first baseman batting in the cleanup spot. J.T. Real Muto will be the catcher, batting fifth. Roman Quinn will be the center fielder, batting sixth. Adam Hazley's batting seventh and playing left field. Jay Bruce will be the D.H. And batting in the ninth spot will be the second baseman, Scott Kingery. So with that, we'll get on with the game. Um, I'm using a dice tower today and put the dice tower front and center. Hopefully you guys can see the dice. We will see uh, how much you like that. <laughs> I'm trying to do what I can, you know. So that's a 2-5 on Segura, and he is a righty batting against a righty. And um, that will be a ground ball to second, so he's out. Uh, let's see here. Nope, that was wrong. <laughs> uh, four to three. Four to three, and he is out. Gregorius is up. And that is a 2-7, and he is a lefty uh, batting against a righty, and that's going to be a fly ball to center. So that's F8. And another reason I'm using the dice tower is I was using a dice cup to roll into, but it would the dice would keep, you know, every so often jumping the cup and getting out, and I didn't like that. So Bryce Harper is up, and he gets a 1-7, and that is going to be a walk. So Bryce Harper is aboard. DeGrom allows his first base runner, and it is the Bryce Harper. And up steps Hoskins. And he gets a 2-8, and he hits a ground ball to third base, and he is out. So he's out 5-3, and the Phillies are done in the first inning, we go to the bottom of the, the uh, first. The lineup for the Mets um, will be uh, going up against Aaron Nola. Will be Andres Jimenez batting first and playing shortstop. Brandon Nimmo in left field. Pete Alonzo batting third and playing first base. Jeff McNeil is the third baseman batting in the cleanup spot. Michael Conforto is batting fifth and in right field. Batting sixth is Dominic Smith, and he'll be the DH. Robinson Cano is at second base, batting seventh. Jake Marisnik is going to be batting um, eighth and playing center field. And Wilson Ramos is the catcher, batting in the ninth spot. So here is Jimenez against Nola. He gets a 5-8 batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. Nola with the uh, first strikeout of the game by either pitcher. One down, and Brandon Nimmo gets a 1-3, and that is a ballpark single, but it's not going to be. It's going to be an out, because the single is only on one. So that is a, um, let's see here. 
one, three. So yeah, that'll be a line out to second base. And Pete Alonzo is up. And he gets a five, six batting right against Nola. That is going to be a single. Alonzo is aboard with the first hit that the Mets have and the first hit of the game. Not only, so. Another thing is maybe the dice tower rolls the dice better. I don't know. 5-9, and that is a lefty uh, going up against Nola. What was that? 5-9, and that's going to be a strikeout as well. So Nola strikes out two guys in that inning. And uh, no runs come in for the Mets. We go to the top of the second. Top of the second, and the batter is JT Real Muto, the catcher. And he gets a 5 8 batting right against DeGrom. That's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for the Mets is a 4 E6, and that is a 7. So I'm thinking that's probably going to be a base hit. And it, uh, no, actually it won't be. It's a ground ball, so he's out. He goes out four to three. And the amazing Quinn, Roman Quinn is the batter. He gets a 6-6. Six, six. He would be batting left, and that would be a strikeout. I think that's the first strikeout for DeGrom today. Two down. And up steps Adam Hazley. Adam Hazley with a 1-7. And uh, batting against a righty, that's a strikeout. DeGrom's second strikeout. We go to the bottom of the second. And uh, Michael Conforto is up. So the Phillies could really use this game. Uh, the Mets... You saw what the record was. I'm uh, I'm actually playing the game before I record the opening, so I don't remember what the Mets record was, but I know ours is two and four. Five and six um, batting left is going to be a double. So Conforto gets on with a double. Second hit of the game, and uh, the second hit of the game for the Mets uh, Dominic Smith is up. He's not really that great at uh, sacrificing. So with a guy already in scoring position, they'll just hit. And that's a 6-8. Six, 6-8 eight. Six, eight for a lefty, and that's going to be a ground ball second base A. One away. He goes out 4-3. to three. And Cano is the batter. And he gets a 3-3. Three, three. And that is going to be a ground ball pitcher A, two away. He goes out one to three. And Marisnik is the batter. Marisnik, a good fielding outfielder, but not much on the hitting. He gets a three four, which is going to be a ballpark single, but it is not a ballpark single. It's actually an out, and it is actually a fly ball to right. So. That's going to be um, an F9 and no runs for the Mets in the second. We go to the top of the third. Top of the third, you've got Jay Bruce, the DH. And he gets a 2-6 against a righty. That's a strikeout. Third strikeout for DeGrom. He hasn't even allowed a hit yet. He has walked a guy, but no hits. Scott Kingery gets a 2-5, and that is going to be a strikeout. Now, now all of a sudden, DeGrom is uh, stockpiling the strikeouts. Gene Segura gets a 2-5, and that's a ground ball to the second baseman, and he's out, and the Phillies are out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the third in a scoreless tie at Zipola. And that brings up Wilson Ramos, the catcher for the 
Mets, and he gets a 3-5, and that is going to be a ground ball first base. So he goes out, ground out three, and Andres Jimenez is up, one out, nobody on, and a 4-5 for a lefty, that is going to be a strikeout. Third strikeout for Nola. And Brandon Nemo is up, and he gets a 3-6, and that is going to be a walk. Nemo is aboard with a walk. And the second walk for, um, or no, first walk issued by, uh, by Nola. And Pete Alonzo, the first baseman, is up. He gets a 2-3, and that's going to be a strikeout. A lot of strikeouts in this game, but nothing to show for it. Yeah, that's one, two, yeah, okay. So, um, no runs for the Mets come in in the third. We go to the top of the fourth. It's a scoreless tie at zero. Didi Gregorius batting against DeGrom. We we need to get DeGrom out of the game, either through fatigue or um, just hitting him up. 3-6 against a righty. That is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. So he goes 1-3, one, one out, and Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper gets a 3-8, and that is going to be a line out to second base. And up steps Hop Hoskins. I keep calling him Hopkins. 6-4 for a righty. That is going to be a strikeout. Fifth strikeout for DeGrom. Still a no-hitter going for DeGrom as we go to the bottom of the fourth, and I don't believe in jinxing him. I don't believe in the jinxing thing, so I'm fine with it. We're going to the bottom of the fourth. Jeff McNeil gets a 6-10 batting left. That is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. Our third baseman is a 3-E-15. That is a 1. That's going to be a single. So McNeil is aboard with a hit. That is the third hit allowed by Nola. And Conforto is the batter. Michael Conforto gets a 311. That is a ballpark homer, and it is. It's gone. Home run, two run homer for Conforto. That might just be the straw that, that breaks the camel's back on that one. Fourth hit. Two runs and a home run. Dominic Smith is up. He gets a 4-8 batting left. That is a strikeout. One away. Robinson Cano gets a 3-8. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. And Marisnik is up. And Marisnik gets a 1-3, and that is a ballpark homer. And that is going to be a home run. Marisnik gets a home run of his own. Unbelievable. So that's another hit. It's another run and a home run and... Uh, you know, I'm not an authority on the subject, but I think the Phillies are having a bad season. Wilson Ram Ramos gets a 4-8 batting right. That is going to be a strikeout. But the Mets come up with three in the fourth inning. We go to the top of the fifth. Real Muto, we got to get on the board here. And we got to try to get three runs off of DeGrom. 1-9, and that's a strikeout for Real Muto. 
and I and I'm just gonna let you guys know. Um, I don't care if he's if Degrom has a no hitter going, he's staying in the game as long as he has a no hitter going. Roman Quinn gets a three five. He would be batting against a righty, and he is, and it's a strikeout. I mean, he is really racking up the strikeouts. That's a seventh one here in the fifth. And um, Hazley. Hazley gets a 6-9 batting left. That's a strikeout. Eight strikeouts. And up steps Jay Bruce. Jay Bruce gets a 1-10 ground ball to the first baseman. He's out. Oh, wait a minute. No, that was three outs. Nope, sorry. <laughs> My bad. So the fourth, or the fifth goes by with the Phillies getting no runs. I was trying to get him a fourth out. I was trying to extend it. But anyway, we're going to the bottom of the fifth with Jimenez as the batter, the leadoff batter for the Mets is leading off here in the fifth. That is a 6-7 batting left. And that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for the Phillies is a 2-E-20. That is a 7, and that's going to be an out. So um, he goes 4-3. Nimmo is up with one down. Nobody out. And he gets a 3-5, and that is going to be a walk. Second walk issued by Nola. Pete Alonzo. Pete Alonzo gets a 2-7. That is going to be a strikeout. So that's the seventh strikeout also for Nola. And McNeil. McNeil gets a... 1-8, and that is going to be a single double asterisk. So there are runners at first and third. And Michael Conforto. Michael Conforto gets a 2-12, and that's going to be a fly ball to center field, and that is the end of the inning. So no runs for the Mets there. They came close. They threatened, but they didn't get any runs. We are going to the top of the sixth inning. Now Jay Bruce. And he gets a 2-4, which is going to be a ballpark homer, is it? Yes, it is. Jay Bruce gets a home run. It's a good thing I waited. <laughs> It's a good thing, I realized. So he gets a home run, and he gets a run, and the first hit also. That is the first hit off of DeGrom. Scott Kingery is up. Scott Kingery gets a 1-3, and that is going to be a double. So now all of a sudden, DeGrom is getting getting his ass handed to him after cruising through the first um, the first six innings. Here we are in the top of the sixth, by the way. Segura is up. Segura gets a 3-6. That's going to be a fly ball to center field. One away. Didi Gregorius is up. Gregorius gets a 6-7 batting left. That is going to be a walk. So we have two guys on now. Second walk issued by um, uh, DeGrom and Harper. Exactly the guy you want up. 6-7, is that the... Uh, that is also a walk. And so now we have the bases loaded with only one out. We really have got to score here. We're going to have, uh, we'll have issues if we don't score here. Hoskins is the batter. He gets a 2-5, and that is going to be a single, and one run comes in. So a run one, one run single, and it knocks in Kingery. 
that's the second run. So now we're in a now we're in a very close game. I would like to see us bust it open right here. Real mute on the batter. He gets a four six batting right. That's going to be a strikeout, two away. DeGrom strikes out his ninth guy. And up steps the amazing Quinn. The amazing Quinn gets a triple and clears the bases. Love it. One, two, three. So that is exactly what we needed. And now it is five to three. We're leading with a man 90 feet away. Let's try to get him in too. Hazley is up. Hazley gets a four eight or four seven. Four seven is gonna be a strikeout. So DeGrom struck out his 10th guy, but he did allow five runs right there. And the Phillies have now got a five to three lead. And I was going, I was thinking about taking uh, Nola out, but now we're going to let him keep pitching as we go to the bottom of the sixth with Dominic Smith out. And he gets a one nine, which is a strikeout. And Nola, that's Nola's eighth strikeout, one down. And Robinson Cano, Robinson Cano gets a 1-5. That is going to be a single. Oh. Seventh hit allowed for Nola. Marisnik is the batter. He has a homer today. It's a 5-10 batting right. That's going to be a strikeout. Two away. And the batter is Wilson Ramos. And Wilson Ramos gets a 6-8 batting right. That is going to be a ground ball to third base. He goes out 5-3. The Mets losing 5-3. And uh, they're going to take DeGrom out. Uh, so DeGrom goes, where does he go? Six. And they will bring in somebody. They will bring in Brad Brock. Brad Brock in 2020 would have been projected to 35 innings pitch, 28 hits allowed in a 514 earned run average. And he comes in in relief of DeGrom. Jay Bruce is the batter. Now Brock is a righty, so um, the lefties I had in the lineup, they're going to uh, Maybe struggle a little bit. No, no, they no, they won't. He's a righty, just like Degrom, so it's still still good. So Bruce is up here in the top of the seventh, and he gets a six six batting left. That is going to be a walk, and we uh, need to get that guy off a second. That's now the drawback here is that the tower is in the way of second base. So if I leave a token out there, I don't, I wouldn't. Uh, necessarily know that if I didn't remember, and I didn't. So Bruce gets the walk. Brock uh, walking a guy, and Kingery is out. Kingery gets a one eight. That's going to be a strike. Oh wait a minute, it's going to be a strikeout. Yeah, or no, it is. Yeah, it still is. So Brock strikes the man out. One down, one on. Gene Segura up. He gets a 4-5. That is going to be a uh, strikeout. Brock 
Brock with another strikeout. And up steps Gregorius. And Gregorius gets a 310, and he is going to hit a ground ball to the shortstop. No runs for the Phillies in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Now I'll try to move the tower over a little bit so you can see what inning we're in. Jimenez is up. He gets a 4-8 batting left. That is going to be a strikeout. So that is the 10th strikeout that I've got, at least, for Nola. Brandon Nimmo up. Nimmo gets a 5-4, batting left. That will be a ballpark single, but it won't be. It's going to actually be a fly ball to center. So two away. And Pete Alonzo is up. And that is a 2-3, and he strikes out. And Nola with a ton of strikeouts. That was his 11th right there. No runs come in for the Mets. We go to the top of the 8th. Uh, Brock is going to stay out there for at least this inning. And then if we need another one, another pitcher, we'll go get him. But Brock can pitch too, I'm sure. Bryce Harper gets a 6-3 batting left. That is going to be a fly ball right. One away. Hoskins is up. And uh, he gets, what is that? Looks like it's a 3. It is. So he gets a 6-8 batting right. Um... And that is going to be a walk. So Hoskins is aboard. I, I wouldn't, uh, you know, I'd be all for a couple of insurance runs here. One man on, one out. Real Muto up. Real Muto gets a 4-9 batting right. That is a ground ball to the shortstop double play. So that's the first double play of the game, 6-4-3. And no runs come in for the Phillies in the eighth. And, oh, yeah, we are going to need Brock, uh, probably. But, anyway, it's the bottom of the eighth with the Mets uh, up. And we're going to take Nola out. I guess we'll stop him at seven, although that's probably not the greatest idea. And we will put in Brandon Workman. Workman is coming in. Workman would have projected to a lot of strikeouts per innings pitched. He would have struck out 71 in 57 innings, but he has a 474 earned run average. Has a problem with walks. We'll see if that hurts him. McNeil is the batter here in the eighth. He gets a 1-4 against a Workman as a righty, and that's going to be a ground ball to short, one away. Six to three, and that brings up Conforto. And he gets a 5-9 batting left, and that is going to be a strikeout. And Dominic Smith is up. And he gets a 6-9 batting left. That is going to be a strikeout as well. So Workman has a really good 1-2-3. Uh, um, eighth inning. And we will take out Brock for the Mets. And they'll have a new reliever. Brock went 2. He didn't give up any hits. He didn't give up any runs. 
They will bring in Jared Hughes to pitch. And Roman Quinn is going to be the batter. He gets a 4-6. He would be batting left. That is a ground ball second base. One away. Hazley is the batter. We've got the Phillies here leading here 5-3 to three in the, in the uh, actually the top of the ninth. 2-10 is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop, so he goes out 6-3. to three. And Jay Bruce is the batter. And he gets a 1-7, and that's a strikeout. We go to the bottom of the ninth. This is where it is. Cano is up, and we're going to keep Workman out there. He can pitch two innings, I'm sure. We've got a 1-7, and that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. One away. Mariznik is the batter. Mariznik gets a 5-7 batting right. And that's going to be a single. So Marisnik is aboard with a hit. That's the first hit off of Workman. First base runner allowed by Workman. And Ramos is the batter. He gets a 4-6. And 4-6 batting right. That's going to be a strikeout. Told you Workman has some strikeouts in his arsenal, and that's the second one for him. And Andre Jimenez, the batter, and he gets a 6-3 batting left. That is going to be a ballpark home run. Is it, though? It's a 15, and that will not be a ballpark home run. It is, in fact, going to be a fly out to right, and that will be it. So... Um, that, that's how the uh, game ends with the Phillies winning a close one, five to three, and now going to three and four on the year. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zalke, signing off.